and you've been to the UK a couple of times this year. Really good to see you here. Um, but we've got a few questions from people online, and one yeah. of them, um, Killian, they're asking you, when are you going to come to Ireland? Yeah, no, I, I yeah, I, I really want to go to go there. Like I think it's it's wonderful. Like it's it's amazing the landscape and the beauty of the nature. Yeah. Okay. Um, another question online from a lady called Marta. Yeah. Um, when coming back from injury, when do you know that you're ready for competition again? Uh, it's it's hard to know, like because coming back from an injury, like you start training, and like. It's hard to know if you are ready for like pushing this hard, yeah. but I think you you really need like physical point and it's like a yeah. feeling. Yeah, it's something. kind of a feeling like you need to feel like all the trainings it's it's good like you can really push on trainings mm -hmm. because if not it's it's too thin. But then it's I think that during this first competition is important to be not expecting much mm -hmm. and to be really okay if I drop is not a problem at all. So lower your expectations. Yeah, lower your expectations. Yeah. Maybe the second or third race back in. Yeah. yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, Janet Herring, another one online. She's asking, what advice would you give to people for improving descent? A lot of people um, have trouble with that, I think. Yeah, and, and it's not an easy solution. Like, uh, uh, you can work a bit like uh, muscles. Uh, like, of course, you need a bit of quads and, and calves to go down fast. Mm -hmm. But, like, it's not because you will have strong quads that you will be able to run fast in technical terrain. So I think it's it's downhill. It's a lot about balance, and it's a lot about like the uh, between the vision, like uh, where you look and how your feet react on that. Okay. So to, to work balance, I think it, like some activities uh, like uh, slacklining or like uh, all the balance things. So do balance things and then spend a lot of time in steep terrain. Well. Yeah, yeah. And, or some like for example mountain biking downhill or like skiing like because then you start to get this sense of like your body, the position of the body and looking for and then it's it's to spend a lot, a lot of hours in the to get used and to, to start to listen, yeah, to, to, yeah, to watch the terrain. Yeah. Another question um, from Alex Sutton, he says, you know the summit of my life project, yeah? Um, have you any, any intentions to expand on that? Have you got any other future projects? Yeah, yeah, summit of my life, it's, it's, it's finished, but like it's, it was good because like finishing a project. Everest was incredible. Uh, yeah, it was cool, but the cool thing was that it gave me like a lot of ideas to do. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for sure, it's it's many many ideas. I don't know which one I will go for first, but uh, yeah, it's many things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, final question from Damien Boyle. Yeah. What strength work and stretching do you help do to help your body go through the rigors? Mm -hmm. um, I don't do much strength. Like I think. Uh, Spending a lot of hours running in the mountains and skiing is itself a good strength exercise. So, like mostly legs, I do everything outside. Okay. Um, but uh, I think it's important to do some core training to, to not have pr problems in the back and to, to have like a, a good position. So, core training and some arms exercise. So, like I do climbing uh, regularly to keep a bit the upper body work and some some exercises for, for the shoulders and the, and the arms, but I think for running itself, so core, running specific. Start running specific, I think core, yeah. all that it's core, back, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, it's very important. Excellent. Yeah. And then before Chris, um, before the end of the year, what other competitions have you got in, in the mountains? Well, yeah, now it's, uh, I'm in off season now. Okay. Uh, and so I will start training like next week for the ski season. So it's mostly like until April I will be, I will, I will be doing uh, skiing. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I will not do the World Cup, uh, Ski Monterrey World Cup this year, but uh, some big race like the Renault or this kind of long. You're going to cherry pick them, select them. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, but yeah, mostly like yeah, ski projects until May. Until May. And then, yeah, I don't know yet what they will do next summer, but uh, yeah, some probably some of the bullet rush areas, so like, I don't know, like Sagama or, or Cessna, these kind of races. Uh, one or two long races, and uh, like some more different project. It's been a real pleasure to meet you, Annie. No, thank you very much. Fantastic. Pleasure. Thanks.